Hello and welcome back to another week of Tube Talk. Thank you, Kate. We've got you today because... Again. <laughs> again. We've got a regular because Sophie's playing hockey, hockey. tonight. Okay. So... We're very pleased to have you. Thank you. So, last week was a very quiet week with Holy Grail running a very good second in Singapore. He, yeah, it was a quiet week, and it was it was really good. It settled last, weaved through, them, got held up a couple of times, and charged at the line over seventeen hundred metres on the poly track. Very happy. He continues to progress, and next start on the turf over two thousand metres, the eleventh of June. He looks a very strong winning chance. That's good. So that was all. This week we have six horses running. Starting at South Canterbury tomorrow with She's Graceful in race one. Yeah, and so She's Graceful is a horse that's shown us a lot of ability at trials. She's won by big margins and in training. But on race day, she's only put her hand up once where she's run a nice third. And that day she came from the back. So what we've done is we've taken her to the trials and we've made her settle back on purpose and relax and then got her to to run home. And so that's what we're looking to do tomorrow. So we're gonna, she's got the outside barrier, we'll snag her back with Terry Mosley on, let her relax, and then look to be coming home and finishing off doing her best work on the line. So that is the plan, and she needs to start stepping up in the next couple of starts to prove to us that she wants to be a racehorse. So it'll be an interesting day tomorrow. Okay. Also in South Canterbury tomorrow, in race two, we have elusive boxes. Yes, she's in a very, very rich vein of form. Uh, she second her last start, been galloping well. She's a really good chance. Kylie Williams on board. I think she was eight dollars twenty fixed dollars, which I think is over the odds. I thought she should be about five dollars. I think she's a really, I think she's a really strong chance tomorrow on a dead six track that'll suit her. Um, yeah, not much more we can say, but but she should run very well. Also in South Canterbury tomorrow, we have in race four, Pinzano. Pinzano is another horse that you don't know what you get until she turns up on race day. She can be very, very good, or she can be very bad and she can be wayward. But you know, she's won five races and she's she's a smart horse today and her work's been outstanding. So she gets him with 54 kilos tomorrow. And we're just Say we're just not quite sure what to expect. If, on her work, you would say she's an outstanding chance. She's won it somewhere before, but you just got to see who turns up. I think she'll probably run well. I think she had one run under her belt, and so she's probably progressed from that. And I can see her running well from a nice draw sitting behind the speed. Okay, and also in Canterbury tomorrow. We, in race nine, we have Zanotti. Yes, yeah, so Zanotti is coming to the end of her career. She's probably going to be sold next month. She stakes placed. First two runs this time, first run was disappointing. Her second run was okay. It was a bit better. She's stepping up to a better distance now, but she's out of her grade because there was no rating 65, 2100 metres for it, so we had to go 75 grade. So she's out of her grade, stepping up. Um... And we'd like to see her some improvement. Like, she's getting to a distance which now suits us, so we'd like to see improvement and, and see her moving forward with a view to her next start being the key one for her. I think if she if she runs well tomorrow, I think we can go into a fourth start with confidence, but she's only a rough chance tomorrow. Okay. Now, moving on uh, to Saturday in Whanganui, we have in race three, Thorn Pass. Yes, the two runners on Saturday. Thorn Pass is fresh up. Um, he is a horse that now needs the cut in the track. Um, so we've brought him up in my, with, with racing this time in mind. Thought he might have got to the races a, little, a few weeks earlier than this, but it's been just quite tough finding the right race for him. So he's in 85, 13, 40. He's naturally a, a stayer, so he's going to be better over longer. But the track should suit him. I think he's got a nice weight. The 1340 is too short for him, but his gallop was good this week, and I can see him running a cheeky race and putting in some big strides late on the line. And I would call him an outside boil over chance. Mm -hmm. And when he steps up to a mile his next start, he should be a good chance. 
Also, Roberto Hannah Ride to the post. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Also in Flamini in race eight is Prince Mambo. Yes, on the listed um, Ag Challenge stakes, Prince Mambo is uh, he's in good form. He's a very good horse. He gets in badly at the weights because it's weight for age. So even though he's low, one of the lower rated horses, he has to carry the same weight as the high rated horses because they weight them according to their gender and age. Um, and saying that, and he also would like a slow track, and I think it will be a slow track. It's been heavy all week, but it's been fine, so I think it must be drying out. Um, he likes to lead and bowl along, and he should be able to get there looking at the field without too many problems. If the track comes back into the slow range, I think he's a nice each way chance. His work's been excellent. He's a very happy horse. Lisa Allpress has won on before gets back on board. And if, um, and, and I think probably regardless of what happens on Sunday, he'll probably go for a brief spell. Okay, now, it's time for the bit of the week. Should I announce the bit of the week or are you going to do it? You can announce it. Sorry? You can announce it. Bit of the week. Wanganui race one, Kate the Great. <laughs> what a coincidence. Yes. What a coincidence. Kate the Great, trained by Lisa Latta in her second preparation. Her first preparation was okay and she had a long time off the scene. I would suggest through injury. Mm -hmm. But she's come back, she had one start back and it was a, it was a humdinger. She weaved through, finished hard, and ran second. I don't think the field on Saturday is any stronger. She likes Wanganui. Uh, she's lightly raced, has ability. Kelly McCulloch on board, and I think she's an excellent winning chance. And she'll probably be a seven or eight dollar shot. So I think we can have a nice each way bet on Kate the Greats <laughs> on Saturday at Wanganui. Right, that is all we have for tube talks this week. That's all the time we have for tube talks. So thank you, Kate. Thank and you. And we'll be back with Sophie next week. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.